Welcome to Cadillac Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Wednesday night in Miami, the Mets won their eighth straight game as they rallied to beat the Marlins 4-1. to one. The Mets were no hit for the first six innings by Harleen Garcia making his first Major League start, but then he came out of the game and the Mets got it rolling. Everything went wrong for the Marlins after that. It was a, an interesting game because uh, Harleen Garcia was so good, made it look easy. But Zach Wheeler, after giving up the home run to Rojas, had to just stick his nose in there and keep it close. And he kept it close enough until the eighth inning when the Mets uh, pushed all the right buttons, pushed across four runs, and that was the difference in the game. Bullpen was great. Gazelman came in and struck out three of the batters uh, he faced. Yeah, I mean, I was able to pound the zone and um, throw some good quality strikes. My slider was working well. Off speed was working. And I was able to command the fastball for the most part. So, um, yeah, it's good. I thought he did a really good job of getting ahead. He stayed relaxed. He Good tempo in between pitches. That tells me he wasn't, you know, anxious or anything like that. Good confidence. Uh, really good job. It's very satisfying. Um, you know, I, I had a lot of trouble with it during the spring, just repeating it. And, uh, you know, something new and, um, you know, your body muscle memory. So, you know, it's, it's hard to get out of that you know, other arm slot. So, um, you know, it's paying off. And um, I think the results sort of showed that tonight and I'm very happy with tonight's performance for me. The best pitching performance for the Mets by a starter this year came from a guy who didn't make the team on the spring Miguel Rojas hit one to Tortola <laughs> in the first inning, but Wheeler <laughs> retired the last 16. But the big move by Mickey Calloway was sending up Adrian Gonzalez against the left-hander Chris O'Grady, and Gonzalez came through with a big hit. Yeah, he had two choices there. He could have went to Tomas Nito, who's just brought up, or the switch hitting Jose Reyes. He decided to stay with Gonzalez. O'Grady is kind of a soft thrower. Got a ball inside, but Gonzalez fought it off up the middle. That was the difference. And the two run a single. The only negative, I guess we started this broadcast with Travis Darno, and we're ending it with Kevin Plowecki, who was hit by a 100-mile-an-hour fastball on the back of the left hand. Um, X-rays were negative, uh, just pretty sore. So, uh, you know, I, th I think it would probably hurt a little bit, uh, that impact of the ball catching. So we got him out. Oh, I mean, anytime you get hit in the hand like that, you're going to kind of, uh, you know, get a little scared. But, you know, when I could move it right away and, you know, make a fist and, you know, I ease my mind a little bit. So, uh, yeah, like I said, a couple of days and, and we'll be good. Conforto comes in, gets a double, and then Gonzalez facing the lefty. I mean, both of them facing the lefty there and coming through and, um, you know, getting us on the board, it's uh, it's fun to watch. I usually start right around the third inning, you know, just to go going in the cage, getting a few swings in, you know, start stretching, moving around. You know, my old body needs a little extra to uh, to, to be sure that, you know, I don't do anything anything uh, that, that might pull a muscle out there. But, uh, you know, just uh, I probably hit three or four times in, in, in between, you know, from the start of the game to, to when I actually get to pinch hit. So by the time I get, I, I get into the box, you know, my muscles, my body, everything's in the right place. When we're down, we know, we know how to get the job done, so we're never going to give up. Um, you know, it's going to be a case of, hey, we've been there, we've done it, let's hang in there and, and try to come back. So uh, that's probably the biggest part of uh, a good start like this. Mets finish a 6-0 and road trip. First time they've had a uh, an unbeaten road trip that long since 1991 mm. when Ronnie was pitching. He got one of the wins on that trip. Mets now head home to face the Brewers on Friday night with Steven Matz on the mound. Coverage begins at 6.30 with City pregame live Friday night on SNY. That'll do it for Cadillac Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.